Today I'm going to one of the best restaurants in the world according to the famous foodie YouTuber Strictly Dumpling. Wow. I urge you guys to try a lot of foods in a lot of cities and towns. This place is one of my top recommends for this country. If you even are near Phoenix, if you live in Las Vegas, come on, four hour drive, come here to eat this, worth it. What he doesn't mention is it's a little bit sketchy once you park and walk there. I mean, there's the parking lot of the restaurant, which is filled. So now I, you know, took the, the road bordering the restaurant all the way down to find parking. And this is like straight up filled with like 20, 30 cars. And then there's a bunch of like trailer parks and uh, ha like small houses in construction. And it's like the roads are kind of dilapidated. Um, but yeah, I think they're just like re rebuilding stuff. Anyhow, let's check this place out. Really excited. I got a nice spot inside in the little cubby in the corner. This place is super crowded on a weekday for lunch, which tells you just how popular it is. Now, why do I say that this is the best possible restaurant in the country? Well, this is by far one of the best Mexican restaurants I've been to outside of Mexico. And I always wanted to come back. And he's literally saying that if you're even within close to this vicinity, four hour drive from Las Vegas, you have to stop here just for this and it makes it worth it. He also said that this is the best Mexican restaurant he's ever had outside of Mexico, which says something. I mean, this guy's been all over the country trying food. So uh, I literally got what he got, which is the green chili pork uh, appetizer, which has all sorts of good stuff in it, cheese, pork, green chili. Uh, substituted the jack cheese for the Oaxaca cheese. I've never tried any of that before. I've never tried that cheese. It's all new to me. Keep in mind, my budget and my exposure to food is not nearly as much as his. So I've never even tried that cheese. Uh, and then um, I got the tacos. I think he got one of each different type. But I heard from the server that the beef tenderloin is by far the best and most popular. So I just got three of those. Now he also got this pasta dish. I don't see it on the menu anymore. Maybe they moved back to just a, you know, all Mexican, non-Italian type of restaurant. Plus even if they had it, I'm not at the budget level of him, so. All right, here we go. First ever taste of this type of cheese with this pork here. The pork is um, a little chewy. And, um, there's a bit of toughness to it. Okay. The cheese is familiar. I don't know if I've had this cheese before, but it's definitely a uh, yeah, it's a special flair of cheese that I've definitely had on like nachos before or something similar. It's got that kick to it. Probably because of the green chili that's been added here. You can taste the green chili. Um, the pork pulls apart in the strands. Green chili adds a little bit of a kick to it. And then the cheese itself has that creamy flavor to it. Definitely worth uh, trying out if you're here. Um, I feel like I've had something like this at Cadolba because they have some pretty good chili, but you know, this is definitely more effort than a, you know, a chain restaurant. Now let's put some of that onto um, this tortilla wrap here, all made in-house, and let's try that out. Not bad. The 
to your wrap has a bit of that crunchy flavor. The cheese started to spill, so I had to grab a napkin real quick. That's some really good cheese. Um, it's, it's definitely kind of that creamy Hispanic type of cheese here. Um, overall, I mean, I think it's, it's worth uh, coming here at least once. I, I definitely could not eat this often without it affecting my health. Um, I don't think I need to, but yeah, I would say it's all the thing to do once. I wouldn't do it every month. But uh, you know, maybe like once every couple years, worth it. Um, definitely a unique taste. Never had cheese just like that with the pork before, or the tortilla. Um, there's a cream to it. There's a, there's a texture to it, and then the pork, you know, breaks apart and you bite into it. it. Doesn't melt off your mouth, but it's pretty good. And uh, in Strictly Dumplings video, he uh, he had unlimited chips and salsa that came with it. I think they got rid of that. I don't see anyone else with that here. So, unfortunately, none of that. So, he was able to dip the chips and salsa. Definitely eat this while it's still hot. Once it starts to cool, everything solidifies. The, the, the tortilla wrap, the cheese, everything. But, I mean, it's still really good. It's, it's got this kind of drippy cheese feel to it. If you really like cheese, you'll love this. It's that really nice, rich, creamy texture, but not too liquidy, not too solid. For me, I'm not the, the biggest cheese fan, so I would give this like a, an, an A. Um, but you know, other people give this S class or A plus. I mean, I, I give it you know, a solid rating. Now we're on to the main course. Now the appetizer was one of the main draws in Strictly Dumplings videos, but he did touch on the amazingness of the tacos too. I got the one that he remarked most on was amazing, which is this beautiful, pretty steak taco. It's tenderloin beef. I can see fried jalapeno strands, I believe, in there with uh, some type of cheese, maybe that's feta. It just looks overall amazing. Um, flour tortilla wrap. You could have asked for corn, but I got flour here. I mean, pretty sizable too. I mean, this is something you can't finish in like two bites. Probably takes three or four or five. Let's check it out here. It tastes even better than it looks. And I, I expected it to taste amazing. I may even like this more than the appetizer. There's a huge crunch to those um, jalapeno strands. And then there's a little, just a little bit of sauce with the kick at the bottom. Then you got the beef and the cheese. Thank you. Incredible. I mean, look at that. Let me, one more bite. Here. taco like that where there's they added like especially like uh, fried onions but the jalapeno which adds such a crunch to it and then the cheese is barely perceptible but it adds such a flavor the beef melts in your mouth I mean absolutely delicious then the, the cream at the bottom adds that final somewhat sweet kick to it. I mean, I've had a lot of tacos in Austin, which is known for its tacos, in New York. Each place has its own flair. I mean, there's Birria Landia in, in Queens, but that's that's more like a fried taco. And then, you know, 
Taco Deli in Austin's great, but that's more of like a, you know, almost like a fusion taco where they just throw in random stuff like fried fried beef or fried fish into the taco. Um, I mean, this is its own thing. I mean, this is something I would come back here. This is something I would come back here for if I lived here continuously. I mean, the crunch of that fried jalapeno just adds that little kick. And it's not really spicy either. Mm. Oh, and the tortilla wrap is a little crunchy too. Adds a little bit more of that delicious tang. That's nice. Took a bite of the um, sides here, which is some rice and beans. Um, fairly basic, but nonetheless really good. Then I took another bite of this second taco, and once again, outstanding. If I lived here, I would definitely come back for these tacos. The beef just melts in your mouth, like almost upon contact. It just starts to dissolve. And they're well seasoned too, so you can really taste the flavor in these uh, tenderloins. It is absolutely incredible this uh, flavor here. The uh, head chef Theo, uh, who was also mentioned in Strictly Dumpin's video, came over to every table, including mine. We had a short conversation, and he just, you know, was very friendly, nice. Asked me where I'm from. Asked me if there's anything. I need it. I told him, nope, this is all fantastic. It's amazing. I found this off a YouTube video. So it's incredible. And apparently he even uh, lived and worked briefly where I'm from, all the way on the East Coast in uh, Maryland, D.C. area. So really cool to meet someone that Strictly Dumpling met. I want to give a final shout out to the customer service and welcoming attitude of that restaurant. I left my hat in there. The owner's son ran out, noticed and gave it to me. Um, you know, before that, he, had, he and I had a fantastic conversation. He talked a lot about the history of this restaurant. He, you know, subscribed to my YouTube, asked about it. And, uh, you know, shout out to him. Uh, very interesting facts too. Apparently, um, his father had wanted to start a restaurant for years and years and years, ever since he was like three or four years old. Finally was able to do it. They own the property too, so they don't have to pay rent. Um, it's a very popular local establishment and uh, very successful. And he himself has, you know, worked his way up in the restaurant industry, starting his own, you know, bar and um, his own uh, food food options and you know him and his his dad bounced ideas off each other and he was just super welcoming he told me more about the, like the history of where a lot of this food is based the restaurants named after their last name Madrigal and um, you know I, I think uh, you know shout out to Theo I mean so much history here a lot of the food here comes from a place called uh, Oaxaca Mexico and there, you know, they have, it used to be like a very small rural area, but now it's much more modernized, more touristy, but um, a lot of history there. A lot of the food from here is based off of that. And on top of that, um, a lot of the food here is, um, it's very special. You know, I told him that was the first time I had Oaxaca cheese and he said, um, this is like really nice, but like if you want the like real version, it's kind of more like a string cheese that you can only get there. So if you're ever in that area, try it out. Here, you know, it's the next best option. So really interesting facts about, you know, just generally his, his life and, you know, what created this establishment and the history of it and, you know, the, the, the pursuit and work of all the people here. Um, his mom and Theo's wife, um, Made, he's, she's made thousands of tacos. Um, I got introduced to her um, 
Margarita, I believe her name was. And yeah, it was just, you know, a fantastic experience overall. Keep up the great work. Um, everything, the tortillas are still handmade, so um, fantastic.